literally opened my eyes to see exactly why Jesus died for me. As I'm sharing this with my friend Crispin, uh, I'm literally having this outer body experience where I'm mentally taking notes. We both just hit the floor and I was knocked out cold. I, I don't remember much after that because all of a sudden I was shot up through the ceiling through the sky, through the stars, and I fell upwards and I landed on this floor like, like, wow! And I look up and I'm not in Crispin's house anymore. I'm in this huge hall of just pure light. There were people from every nation, every color, every tribe, each one singing, chanting, and dressed in their native country colors. And I didn't know how long I would be there, so I ate no food, I drank nothing. In haste, I motioned to the man on my right, and I said, excuse me, have you seen Jesus? I was frantic to find him because for some reason I knew in myself that wherever I was, I may not be there for a long time. I asked one of the brothers, excuse me, have you seen him? I'm, I'm, I'm looking for Jesus. Before the words could leave my mouth, somebody tapped me and they said, are you looking for Jesus? I said, yes. He said, he's over there. He pointed at the kitchen and all of a sudden out comes this butler dressed like all the other ones with food on a tray. He carries it to the table. He then walks up to me. The moment he approaches me, his stained clothing becomes white and his face becomes pure brilliant light, so pure, I couldn't even look at him. His stained clothing becomes white and his face becomes pure, brilliant light, so pure, I couldn't even look at him. 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 I felt deeply uncomfortable. I felt deeply uncomfortable. Billy Landers, the son of a well-known KKK member in Mobile, Alabama, who was suffering from liver failure, was technically dead for three minutes before being resuscitated. I think that's how he said it. During that time, the 13-year-old claims he visited the afterlife. It was all niggers, he told WKRG News after the ordeal. There were a few white people, but they were just entertaining the blacks. See that? Because in the kingdom, you white people going to be the, uh, the new coons, all right? Okay, like playing basketball. There were, a, there were lots of nigger angels watching them. <laughs> this article is too much, man. There were lots of nigger angels watching them play basketball, Landers said. Jesus was a coon, too. Jesus wasn't white like Daddy says he is. I asked my father, why is Jesus a nigger? He couldn't answer. I've been taught the God that God and Jesus hate niggers. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Rachel HaQuadash. And double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect. Peace to the elect.
I want to touch on this video here by this uh, Jake. Uh, I believe he's from the west parts of Africa. He's clearly an Israelite. But his name is Tomi Ariomi. He says, I went to heaven at 16. That's the title. Tony Ariomi, I went to heaven at 16. Okay. So I'm going to try to break down this video. It was an 11 minute video. And I'm going to try to go through it real quick. I'm not even going to hit no points as far as what he's been saying because I put it in the intro. But I want to uh, go first and foremost on some things that he said that also proves when. If you have an out of body body experience, um, what you see is what the Most High allows you to see and gives you what He wants you to see. Okay, a Chinese person could say he looked at Jesus and Jesus was Chinese. Not likely that he would show him that, but if that's what you want to see. But anyway, this guy uh, uh, Aromi Ariomi, you know, first off, okay when he went he was talking about the Israelites in the different languages and they all had their apparels or whatever that's going basically into the Israelites uh, under one uh, authority one government the Lord is not an author of confusion he's not going to have his mansion with all these different denominations of different religions okay from all kindreds of the earth you know you're going to have kindreds of the earth that are Islam that's going to be in heaven with the Christians and then what about the satanic worshipers you know what about the Mormons you know what about the Catholics so all these different people with all these different beliefs are going to be dwelling in the mansion in the most high's house I don't think so that revelation 7 and 9 we'll get into in the second Lord's will also he said uh, Jesus came out as this butler which we know the scriptures of the, uh, Yahweh Shah, you know, would have served his, even his, uh, you know, you know, his followers. But in the, in the Lord's mansion, he's not going to be, Mosad is not going to have his son serving as a butler, you know. So what he probably seen is a, an Edomite, you know, looking like, trying to, trying to look like Jesus to him. I don't know. So he goes on to say that the face the face was white and bright or whatever. Not even white. He just said it was a bright glow. Somebody all of a sudden puts a picture of fake Jesus in there. See, this is all white supremacy. This man didn't say anything. He said he didn't. He never said he saw a white Jesus. Where is that? But in his mind, he figured Jesus is white. So they put a picture of the image of Jesus in there doing his revelation or whatever you want to call it okay he said he didn't get a chance to eat because he wasn't going to be there long you don't eat when you go to heaven man or you go to the spirit world you know that's you know this guy his face was so white that he couldn't even look at him he admitted it but somehow there's a white jesus there anyway let's go into the let's go to get some breakdowns okay according to the bible and let's uh wash this madness up and go according to the Bible what what is true according to the scriptures let's go to Revelation 7 and 9 Revelation 7 and 9 it says and after this I beheld and lo a great multitude which no man could number of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues stood before the throne and before the lamb clothed with white robes and, and palms in their hands. So when you go up to read the, the Revelation, the seventh chapter, if that was the case, the verse uh, five wouldn't have to say of the tribe of Judah was sealed 12,000. The tribe of Reuben was sealed 12,000 and the tribe of Gad 12,000 and so forth and so on. It's listing the 12 uh, tribes of Israel. Okay. But yet all nations multitudes and peoples and tongues but yet somehow all the uh, the sealed Israelites 12,000 is going to be standing and then you have some of these Christians that say well no it's not uh, you, you could be uh, an Israelite uh, just by believing you know th this crazy stuff man okay so these names would not have to be mentioned but anyway let's go to Acts 3 and 25 
Acts 3 and 25 it says ye are the children of the prophets and of the covenant which Yahweh made with our fathers saying unto Abraham and in thy seed shall all the kindreds of the earth be blessed that's what it says all the kindreds by, through the seed all the kindreds of the earth be blessed and I know a Christian is going to pull that so let's go to the blue letter see what the blue letter says about this word kindreds Okay, which also pretty much the same in Revelation 7 and 9. That, that's a, what is that? Uh, this word is, portray, let me re play it. Strong's G, 3965. Patria. All right, Patria, okay. Uh, it says, lineage running back to some progenitor, ancestry. A nation, tribe, a group of families, all those who in given in a given people lay claim to a common origin. Okay, here we go. The Israelites, which distributed into twelve tribes, see that distribute distributed. Okay, distributed. Okay, distributed into 12 tribes distribute you know what that means okay descended from the 12 sons of Jacob these were divided into families which were divided into houses okay this is why the Bible is always talking about the Israelites a family in a wider sense a nation people okay so that kindred that you're seeing is talking about the Israelites. That's why when you go to Acts 2 and 5, it says, devout men, Jews out of every nation uh, out of, uh, of the earth. Okay? There's many scriptures on that. So let's go to Revelation 1. And um, looks like Revelation 1 and 1. Let's go to 9. I, John, also am and your brother and companion in tribulation and in the kingdom and uh, patience of Jesus Christ was in the isle that is called Patmos, the island of Patmos, for the word of Yahweh and for the testimony of Jesus Christ, Yahweh Shai. I was in the spirit of the Lord's, on the Lord's day and heard behind me a great voice as, a, as of a trumpet saying I am the Alpha and Omega the first and the last and what thou seest write in a book and send it to the seven churches which are in Asia you, uh, uh, unto Ephesus and to Smyrna and unto Pergamos and unto Thyradia okay and uh, Sardi and unto Philadelphia and unto La Lacedonia, Laodosia. So anyway, Apostle uh, uh, John the Revelator said, "I mean, the Most High was which sent His Son. His the Most High Yahweh Shem basically said, when you whatever you see, write it in the book and send it to the churches. You know why? Because he already knew that they was going to corrupt his image and change." Uh, you know try to change him by putting these false images up and that's the uh, cornerstone of white supremacy okay so let's get another quick hit scripture Matthew nineteen twenty eight. and Jesus said unto them verily I said to you that that ye which have followed me in a regeneration when the son of man shall sit in the throne of his glory ye shall also sit upon the twelve thrones judging the twelve tribes of Israel okay judging the twelve tribes of Israel so those Israelites you would see that look like all different nations it ain't the flesh it's the, the fact that it's spirit of being an Israelite okay so I, you know no matter how this Christian took it we can break it break it all down and show you that he did not see a white Jesus and everybody think just because something so-called glows that's automatically white that's not all that's not 
pretty much the case because nobody's white anyway. And the Lord wouldn't let his son sit up in the heavens in his mansion with pale skin. You know, I mean, well, you know, we know. Okay, let's go to Revelation 1 and 14 real quick. Okay, let's go to Revelation 1 and 14. This is simple. Okay, it says, His head and his hairs were white like wool. And then you got these Christians say, Uh oh, his head and his hairs are white like wool. That means his head is white. Okay? His the head the hairs was describing his head was describing the hairs, which were white like wool. That's why it says as white as snow, because we got to keep saying this over and over. And his eyes were a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass. But you know, fine brass has nothing to do with a so-called white-looking skin. Okay? So that's why I say so-called. As if they burned past tense in a furnace. Okay? So after these translations, after the KJV, you know, it, you, you'll have the Geneva, the Great Bible, and various other Bibles, books, that always said pretty much burned in a furnace. They knew. But it wasn't until white supremacy, which comes along, and then you get all these different translations. Let's get a couple. The uh, Webster Bible translation. Okay, which they're pretty much on point. Then you got the English Revised Version that says burnished brass as it had been refined in the furnace. But I wanted to get this, the Weymouth New Testament. It says his feet were like silver bronze. Where did that come from? Silver bronze... <laughs> When it is white hot <laughs> in a furnace and his voice resembled the sound of many waters. See, try to keep that part. See, that white supremacy has destroyed you. And there's a lot of people waking up to, to, to know that the one you call Jesus wasn't a white man, but you got to go to the scriptures and prove it. You just can't come out of your own spirit, or your own mouth and just say that because it is common sense, but the scriptures prove it. You know? So anyway, I just wanted to do this uh, sh short commentary on this video. This guy claimed he saw Jesus, and um, which you know I don't believe he did. But he's but Jesus didn't. If it was, it didn't. He didn't show him his face. He just said he saw a bright light. <clears throat> you know these Christians, they just make it up as they go along, man. And some of these uh, understanding that the Most High will show you what the hell he wants to show you. Okay, you know. The Most High is the ultimate beguiler, man. The trickster. To make you believe anything, you know? You know, and again, Jesus wouldn't have, the whole situation he was describing had nothing to do with how the spirit world would have actually worked. People sitting around eating dinner. That would more likely have to be a vision, okay? To, for somebody to break down, you know? These bodies aren't up in the spirit, in the spirit realm, okay? Anyway, that's all I have on that. I just want to touch on that. That's all I have on that. Shalom.